One of the biggest batteries in the world is being built right here in Australia using Tesla Megapacks. It's just received approval to triple in size, possibly making it the biggest battery in history. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Cross Landing in California, there's a huge battery there, but this battery will be even bigger. Well, that's thanks to the approval to triple it in size. The reason they're tripling it in size is because it's working so incredibly well at this point in time. Tesla Megapacks are being used to expand what is called the Colley battery into a 560 megawatt slash 2,240 kilowatt hour system, which is the biggest in Australia. There will actually will be a bigger one built very close to where I live, about 20 minutes drive away from where I live. It will be bigger than this one, but that one isn't scheduled to actually be finished or to actually begin, be, begin being built until next year. Neon, French company Neon have won the contract to triple the size of the colliery battery. The French renewable energy and storage developer is teaming up with Tesla, it's using Tesla Megapacks to expand this battery to be one of the biggest in the world, potentially the biggest. The first stage of expansion has already started. Construction underway to grow the Colley battery to 219 megawatts slash 877 megawatt hours. In the second stage, Neon will add 341 megawatts and 1,363 megawatt hours to the battery. By the end of construction, the battery will be absolutely enormous. 560 megawatts with 2,240 megawatt hours of generating capacity, making it bigger than the battery Synergy's battery, which is a 500 megawatt slash 2000 megawatt hour battery. That battery is actually being built only a couple of miles away from this mega battery. So these batteries are being built in Western Australia. They'll help support the Perth grid. Now in Perth, there's an enormous amount of sun. It's one of the sunniest places in the world. I actually lived in Western Australia, which is Perth. I lived there for two years, absolutely loved it. It was a fantastic place to live. And I can really see why people love living there. But soon their power bills are going to go down. Right now, there's a huge amount of solar there. This is going to support all that solar. So there will be no, almost no loss of solar energy, which obviously there's a huge amount of solar that's usually not being used during the daytime, during peak hours. And because it's such a sunny place all year long, um, solar is incredibly effective there. So all that excess solar generated during the middle of the day, that'll be sent to these mega batteries. Neon's Colley battery will charge and discharge 20% of the average demand of the entire city on the Southwest interconnected system. Stage two will provide 300 megawatts of storage capacity for four hours of discharging during evening peak hours. So when the sun starts to go down, people get home from work, that's when this battery will kick into play. And what this does is it removes fossil fuel, fossil fuels from the grid. What happens often at that time of day, you know, 6, 7, 8 p.m., people get home from work, they want to turn on the air conditioners, the house is really hot, there's a huge power spike. And sometimes what, need, what is needed then is these peaker plants. Elon Musk talked about how these big batteries are basically getting rid of peaker plants. And these peaker plants run on either coal or gas, and they send huge amounts of power to the grid, but at enormous astronomical cost because essentially they are just turned on in, in this instance when there's huge demand needs. And that's when your energy bills go right up when the peaker plants have to turn on. Collie is a coal town, but yeah, its coal generators are going to shut down within the next five years. This is basically speeding up the death of coal in Western Australia. The battery's expansion will help Collie transition from a coal country or basically a coal power to a, one of the biggest renewable energy powerhouses in the world. They'll be capable of having a huge amount of excess energy on average days. It's like Tony Sieber said, you need to build out around 200% of your energy needs with renewables to make up for the times when there might not be any sun and no wind. That's what Western Australia are doing, and they plan on using a lot of that excess renewable energy, it's gonna be enormous amounts, to create green hydrogen. Now, whether or not that plan will work, I don't know, but Western Australia believes it's hugely important for the future 
of its economic prosperity. This is intended to address the risks the AEMO has identified related to the retirement of coal power plants, high penetration of rooftop solar, and increasing energy demand in Western Australia. Tesla believes the energy storage business will continue to grow. It expects it to grow faster than its car business, and that has happened so far. In the first quarter of this year, Tesla's car business, obviously sales went down, but its energy business actually increased in size. Tesla Megapack deployments reached an all-time high in Q1 of 2024. And that's likely to continue growing really, really fast over the next few years. Now, a lot of people think Tesla's energy division is not going to grow that fast because its competition, which includes CATL and BYD, their batteries are really cheap. But what you're paying for with these Tesla mega packs, and the reason that this, this French renewable energy giant, one of the biggest energy companies in the world, the reason they keep on using Tesla batteries, Tesla mega packs for their big batteries, because they have done this numerous times now, is because Tesla's software works incredibly well. It's able to integrate these batteries into the grid and, and kind of um, do it in a really seamless way. And it's not easy to do that. That's the trickiest part of putting these big batteries into a huge grid. Thanks for watching.